I bought my first real suit from Hot Sam's clothing store. My dad was a very snazzy dresser, and he brought me down to Hot Sam's when I was about 15 years old. And it's what's funny, now I'm waiting on young people that have their fathers, their grandfathers, and now they're bringing their sons in to get their first suit. Probably around the same age as I was, my father took me. Hot Sam's has been in Detroit since 1921, which is, what, 99 years now? And over the course of those years, Hot Sam's has developed relationships. The relationship we build with our customers is probably the most important thing. Because when we bought the store, we decided, I want to know these people more than just at the register. It's not so much about the fashion as it is the people. My father, Mr. Green, myself, our team here, is what keeps people coming. Was able to survive the Great Depression in 1929, the recession, so change is constant. But the one change that was amazing, never happened before, shut our doors because of the pandemic for four months. Okay, it's shut down, never shut down before. What do you do? What do you do? Ray Waters, who works with the Detroit Development Fund, reached out to my father and Mr. Green and told us about an opportunity with Fifth Third Bank. So Fifth Third Bank calls me and says, I think we have something for you. I don't have an account with them. I have an account with two or three other banks. And neither one of my other banks called me to say that. Neither one, Fifth Third, helped us keep the doors open so we continue on this journey of 100 years. Part of the problem in terms of the African-American community, a couple of things we've never had. We've never had generational wealth, we never had buying power, and we've never had longevity, okay? We have that now in this business, so we can pass that on to our children. I really want to make sure that my father and Mr. Green that their story of how they became owners is told. It is my job to make sure that I reach back and acknowledge what they did so that I can be here today to carry on the legacy.